Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When you think about video editing, uh, you probably think of Photoshop. It doesn't mean that you have to use Photoshop to digitally manipulate every image that you might have, uh, whether you're using a OS X or a Windows. But uh, Photoshop is pretty much the leading tool today. It's very expensive, though. One reason why I'm just not a big Photoshop kind of guy. Don't use it at all. Uh, I, I might if it was there and it offered a tool that I couldn't uh, easily use in another piece of software. Uh, there's a value in that, certainly. But uh, if you uh, want to try Photoshop, uh, you can for free right now. Uh, the beta of Photoshop CS6 is available right now. And Matthew Sabia ended up writing a guest blog post on LockerGnome.com giving his take on the new Photoshop, a new interface, including something that I think is actually a nice update. I've never really been thrilled with Adobe and the way they handle UI on the desktop, not to speak to the UX of Photoshop, but uh, they've made it such that uh, the window uh, is black, uh, much like I think Pixelmator on uh, Mac OS X is uh, got a black window. Uh, that's nice, but you can change it back to the you know default color if you like. They, they, the reason why they chose a darker color is because it's easier on your eyes if uh, you use the utility uh, for an extended period of time uh, rather than something that's that's glaring. So it's kind of a an updated interface for Photoshop more than anything. Try the beta. I don't know what you're waiting for. Uh, we've got the link for where you can download it. Of course, if you haven't figured it out, you can probably Google it too. But take a look at the article, our review, our initial impressions of uh, the Photoshop C6 beta, a new interface, new features. I'm going to go ahead and plus one this tweet it out, and then like it too. I hope you do as well. Uh, so apparently, what's new? Uh, there, The content aware move tool. So uh, just create a selection around the object you want to move. When the new tool is selected, then drag it to the desired position. Depending on the environment behind the subject, you'll need to adjust the new sensitivity setting. Other than that, it's point click easy. Another great use of the tool is extending objects in a scene with Adobe's content aware technology. Just select and drag the controls for realistic extending, not stretching. Nice. New blur tools, artificial depth of field, and bokeh. I love bokeh. Um, that's that's might be uh, kind of fun to play with, to uh, tell you the truth. I You know, I don't know if I want to try this beta, uh, because I if I like it, then it's, it's going to cost me like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars, which isn't bad if I used Photoshop regularly, but I gotta ask. I mean, this is interesting. You know, the content aware patch tool, the first realistic and official oil painting filter, full featured video editing from within Photoshop, adaptive wide angle, new crop tools, ultimate stroke, smooth tool recording, the list of uh, new features in uh, CS6, uh, it goes on and on. Um, but before I go on and on, let me ask you this. Do you use Photoshop? Uh, and uh, if you don't, what do you use instead? And is it just as good for you? Uh, I, I've long believed that you don't need to use Photoshop to edit uh, photos, and I, I've been proven right every time. Uh, most of the editors that I use are either you know on a mobile device or somewhere on the web. So what about you? Uh, you uh, like anything in the CS6 beta? Are you going to be uh, giving it a spin? I was going to say give it a shot, give it a spin, give it a try. Whatever you got to do to try it. It's not going to cost you anything, at least now, while it's in beta. Or uh, are you someone who believes that you don't need to use Photoshop? In which case, what do you use?